Mateo Perform Radio listeners. This is uh, Larry, a.k.a. Blue Man Rule, and I'm here with William Geeks for the Wind Behind the Mic, and I'm here with uh, Carol. Hello, and nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And we are here discussing uh, this war of mine. Um, tell me a little bit about the thought process behind the game and what it's trying to discuss uh, that most games don't generally touch upon. Okay. Usually when you think about war game, you have like this typical scheme like, uh, okay, I'm a hero, I'm fighting the bad guys, Nazis, terrorists, whatever you call them. But what we thought is that usually no one says anything about the civilians. And obviously during a conflict, 10% of people are soldiers and the rest of them are civilians. And usually civilians are the ones that are you know, struck hardest by conflicts, right? So uh, let's, we thought, hey, let's, let's dig deeper into it and find out how it is to be a civilian during a war. And, you know, we found like hundreds and thousands of memoirs, diaries, you know, articles showing that how, you know, creepy and how it's a real hell to be a civilian during a conflict, right? So we said, hey, let, it's a time for someone to show the people the true image of war, not the pretty face that you know from the Hollywood movies. Stuff. No, let's say, let's show them the horror of war. And we thought that games are like the best media outlet to do that because no, uh, movies and books are not interactive. You read the book and okay, well, that's a sad story, but that's all. And then in a game, you're the one that tailors the story. You make the bad decisions, you make the good decisions, you're the good guy or you're the bad guy. And it's all up to you because in our game, we don't force you to to be any any kind of those. You, it's all up to you who's gonna come. And um, the one thing that I really, really like about the game is the scarcity of resources. You have to scavenge and sca and just really look for a lot of resources, but not also look for resources, but use the right member on your team to create resources, right? Yes, because usually, you know, in nowadays we all are used to iPhones, great cars and stuff like that, but suddenly when the bombs are falling, it turns out that the most simple things are the most important ones. So the food, medicine, running water, you know, that you can drink, that's the stuff that's important. And that's the biggest challenge in the game because, the, like you said, resources are limited, so you have to look for them. And you can fight somewhere, some, some of them in your shelter, but then if you run out of them, then you have to go to scavenge. And you can, you can visit a lot of different locations and meet a lot of different peoples that are in the same situation that you. And, you know, that's the biggest, you know, think in the game that the interaction between characters is not only about scavenging and resources but also about how you're going to behave in such situation and uh, will you stay human or maybe after some days when you have to decide like is either me or them so what are you going to do and that, that's what you want to achieve that people who finish the game they should like spend a while think wow i mean that was tough experience for me and i wonder if I would do the same if it was the real conflict. And that, that that's kind of the questions that you wanted to raise. Right. And when, when you mentioned the, the simple things, and I'm glad you mentioned the word simple because the control scheme is really, really simple. It's just mouse and click. Yes. It's just mouse and click. So yes, the thing is like, we want it to be accessible for everyone, so you just need the mouse and you click everything. And thanks to that, we'll be able to bring the game to the tablet soon. Okay. So we can expect that in next month. And you know, we will have the same experience on the mobile devices, which is really cool because not everyone can play on PC or Mac or something like that. So we'll be bringing that to the tablets and everyone will be able to, you know, enjoy, but it, that's the bad word here because that's not the story to enjoy, but like, right, right. let's say uh, you'll be able to experience that yes. thing. Yes. yes. All right, so, uh, and I know it's already out and you guys have received a lot of accolations and a lot of praise. Um, do you see uh, something like this war of mine uh, uh, expanding, expanding on this idea or maybe um, taking this out a little further later? Well. I think that, you know, it took movies like 40 or 50 years, you know, to change from the silly movies about Charlie Chaplin to some serious stuff. And I think the same is happening right now with games. So we had like hundreds and hundreds of simple games about shooting and killing. And luckily, we are finally, you know, grown enough up to do some serious stuff. And I believe that we've shown that the game that is serious is not about fun. You know, it can, you know, it can be, it can get a great success and, you know, be appreciated by all the people, like the media, you know, gamers, players, everyone appreciate it. And I believe that now people will have the courage to start doing more and more of such games. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that because, you know, I'm, I love simple games. I play Grand Theft Auto and stuff, but I, I love to play the game that somehow makes me think when I'm done with it, right. not just take out the DVD and I'm done. No, I, w I would like to think and maybe it can even somehow influence my life. That would be the best. All right. All right, Carol. So uh, go ahead and tell us where people can find it on on what services like Steam and things like that. And uh, just just tell us what the cost is and um, 
where they can find more about 11 Bit Studios? Well, so if you want to learn more about the game, you should you should visit thisworldofmine.com. That's the biggest site we can find everywhere there. Uh, if you want to find, you can also find us on Facebook, and you can do a lot of materials. The game costs 18.99, so it's available through Steam, GOG.com, and our other digital vendor platform. So it's easily, and if you're at PAX, maybe then you can grab a discount here, and you can get it for 10 bucks. So it's really a virgin. Right. Well, thanks for your time today. We really appreciate it. Game looks awesome. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay, All right, everybody. That's it for Perform Radio. Um, we'll be back in your ear with more uh, video and more coverage from PAX South.